Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can you? God bless you abundantly. Najuani na mkalumani mzuri. Amen. Kwa hivyo, kabila sijaomba, nitaka niseme mambo machache. Unaweza mkaketi kidogo. Kwa dakika tatu tu. Bwana wasifuwe sana. So God bless you abundantly. Mungu wa bariki mno. I'm very grateful to the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. Amen. I first came to Tanzania in 1993 before I was married. My eldest daughter married last year. My eldest daughter. Yule binti binti yangu mkubwa aliolewa mwaka jana and uh, this year around uh, february all march she gave she, 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 she gave birth to the first daughter na mwaka son, u, first son na mwaka huu kwenye mwezi wa pili au watatu alizaa mtoto wake wa kwanza wa kiume so i'm happy to be a grandfather hivyo ninafurahi kuwa babu and uh, i want to appreciate my precious brother. Nami nataka ni washukuru ndugu zangu wa baraka. My precious brother. Ndugu yangu wa baraka. Kaswa. Ndugu Kaswa. When I first came, nilipokuja mara ya kwanza, he received me very well. Alinipokea vizuri sana. And uh, I continued coming for some time. Na kaendelea kwa nami kwa muda fulani. I continued coming. Anikaendelea kuja kwa muda fulani. And then the last time we met with Brother Kaswa, Dipo mara mwisho tumekutana na ndugu Kaswa, Brother Palanjo, Brother ndugu, maybe Elijah was there, I don't remember. Ndugu Palanjo na ndugu labda ndugu Elia alikuepo sikumbuki. Was nine was 2009. Ilikuwa 2009. That was in Dar es Salaam. Hiyo ilikuwa Dar es Salaam. And then uh, mazingira ikachafuka. <laughs> Sasa mazingira yalipochafuka nikaamua ya kwamba sitarudi Tanzania tafadhali wacha nikae nyumbani Na hiyo mazingira yalipochafuka kukaingia mashaka Kila mtumishi anashakia mtumishi mwingine Kulingana na msimamo eh, ndugu John Chakonye sasa ana msimamo gani Ndugu Kaswa ana msimamo gani ndugu paranjo ana msimamo gani nikasema wacha ni nyumbani ile vumbi ifanye nini irudi chini bwana <laughs> asifiwe sana kiswahili changu si kirefu kama cha Tanzania najitahidi tu lakini wacha nijitahidi bwana asifiwe sana nikangojea hiyo vumbi ifanye nini ishuke kisha mwaka huu nadhani tukaanza kuchati na ndugu wangu huyu ndugu eh, kwa siriana asanti kwa siriana na ndugu nani ndugu Masawi akanuuliza maswali kuhusu hiyo vumbi ya wakati huo na machafuko eh, machafuko ya wakati huo na zile migorogoro za wakati huo unaona nina anza kubadilika kuwa mswahili mzuri <laughs> Sasa al, aliponiuliza zile maswali nikamjibu kutoka moyoni mwangu I sincerely answered him Nikamjibu kutoka moyoni mwangu Na ndugu Masawe aliponisikia jinsi nilijibu akanipenda akaniunga mkono Kisha akasema ningependo tutembelee tena Tanzania hapo nikaona Mungu ameanza kufungua barabara tena na alipoandaa hizi mikutano akanitumia mwariko akaniambia ndugu uje ututembelee tena nikasikia furaha na katika moyoni mwangu nikasikia indio wakati vumbi imeenda chini <laughs> Zile migorogoro na machafuko imekwisha. Sasa ni wakati jua imefanya nini? Eh? Imechomoka tena. Hii ni wakati nende Tanzania nione wa ndugu wangu ndugu Kaswa 
ndugu Masawe, ndugu Eria, ndugu Parancho na wandugu wengineo. Na kwa hivyo nina furaha sana. Na nilipofika nilipata ndugu wangu ndugu wangu hela tano lakini sijui nilikuwa na shida gani siku ile nilimuita hela saba. <laughs> Sasa nilipompata hela saba siku yenye nilifika alikuwa na ubiri ujumbe wa kuhusu nguzo ya moto. Kwanza niliketi nje nikamsikiliza Kiswahili ninakisikia vizuri ninakielewa tu shida ni kukiongea alipohubiri kuhusu hiyo uh, pillar of fire maana yake nguzo nguzo ya moto ah, nikasikia ananena kile biblia na ujumbe inayosema siku ya pili akahubiri ujumbe wake wa pili akahubiri kuhusu huduma za wa malaika na wa malaika nafasi zao akaonyesha aka Rusifa, Gabrieli, uh, Mikaili na ule wa mauti. Sijua alimuita nani? Aha, pakani. <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana. Eh, kisha akamaliza na mtu. Binadamu akatuweka fasi yetu. Nikafurahi sana. Unajua nataka nikwambie mimi nilianzia Pentecost. Kisha nikatoka Pentecost nikakuja ujumbe. Lakini kwanza mwanzo nilikuwa mkatulika. Na kwa hivyo nilipokuja kwa ujumbe you know ah jinsi ninavyo jua ya kwamba hii ni huduma safi, huduma bora, huduma halisi ni msimamo ambao unayo na neno na kwa hivyo nikaona kwa mahubiri yake yote hata ingawa kwa katika kila mahubiri anaweza kuleta nuku kama tano, sita, saba akazisoma lakini mahubiri yote ananena kile ambacho nabi alinena ah! nikashangaa sana nikabarikiwa sana bwana asifiwe sana nikabarikiwa sana kasama ah huu uh, jamaa wanamuita hela tano lakini nikaona ni hela saba <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana Akaenda mbele katika mahubiri yake akahubiri kuhusu uh, msamaria mzuri uh, jirani akaleta mambo mengi Kisha mahubiri yake ingine alikuwa alihubiri kuhusu the hardest thing for God to deal with is to get man to believe another man. Jambo gumu kuliko yote ni kumfanya mtu amwamini mtu mwingine. Hela saba. My my my. Nakwambia nilibarikiwa sana. Nilibarikiwa sana. Kisha ako nena kuhusu it's the rising of the sun kuchomoza kwa jua akatuonyesha kwamba ile jua ya mwanzo ambayo ilifanya nini inayo chomoza chomoka ndio jua ambayo katika huduma ya nabii mpaka sasa ndio jua ile ile maana yake uh, neno moja na nguvu za bwana moja na baraka zote zenye walikuwa nazo lazima tukue nazo. Ah, akanena mengi hapo nikabarikiwa sana. Na leo asubuhi kanena kuhusu be ye holy as your father is holy. Iweni watakatifu kama baba yenu alivyomtakatifu. Nilikuwa katika simu yangu kwa kila maubili naweka ka sehemu na katumia watu ulimwengu kote. Jana nikaweka nikaandika nika comment moja i made a comment yesterday nikasema ikiwa kuna huduma tano za efeso sura ya tano huyu ndugu hela saba <laughs> ni moja wapo <laughs> kwa sababu gani kwa sababu amesimama na neno 
Na tukisema amesimama na neno tumetangana na wandugu wengi ambao ni wazungu wana langi nyeupe wana hela wana pesa wana malifa ya juu kwa ajili ya kutosema kile nabii alisema lakini huyu ndugu hela saba huyu amesimama na nabii kwa kila jambo <laughs> kwa, <laughs> kwa kila neno amesimama na nabii sasa asubuhi ya leo nikatumia simu nikakamata ujumbe yake yote nikaisukuma ulimwengu kote. Amjaniona nilisimama pale. Karibu na speaker ili sauti yake na, na picha ionekane vizuri, sauti waisikie vizuri. Na nimeandika juu yake ya kwamba wale wote ambao wanaelewa Kiswahili ndugu Paranja amenisaidia kwa kuweka maneno vizuri wote ambao mlioko ambao mnaelewa Kiswahili tafadhali musikilize ujumbe hii marumu Bwana asifiwe sana ah, Ndugu hela saba mimi nimebarikiwa sana sana kweli Mungu anileta kwa for a reason kwa sababu God, uh, kwa sababu nzuri sana kwa sababu nzuri sana nimebarikiwa sana Ah huyu ndugu Masawe ana quotation amesoma sijua ama mmesikia lakini mimi nimesikia kwa maana hiyo quotation inayambatana na kitu ambacho chi, kinanichoma moyoni kuna kitu kinanichopa kuna moto ndani yangu na moto ambayo ninayo nikimuona nikimuona Mungu wa Elia ninataka kumuona Mungu wa I want to see the God of Elijah nataka ni muone Mungu wa Elia hiyo ndio shauku ya moyo wangu kwa maana tukuhubiri tu yale aliyohubiri. Basi Mungu wa Elia yuko wapi? Ni kweli tunahubiri kile ambacho alihubiri. Tunasema kile kile nabii aliposema, lakini Mungu wa Elia yuko wapi? Tukisema Mungu yupo pamoja nasi. Sasa miogize yake na nguvu zake zipo, ziko wapi? Na nakwambia kwa mahubiri ya ndugu hela saba Eh? analeta hiyo mambo vizuri lazima tuwe na neno tuwe na nguvu tuwe na neno tuwe na nguvu jambo hilo limetatiza sana miaka mingi na ndugu bwana akiwa na nena kuhusu revival ufufuo uamsho uamsho ukienda okay, kwa mihuri ah, ah, nyakati saba za kanisa ukurasa ni ukurasa page ya yeah, ukurasa wa 70 page 70 70 yes 70 nabii anatuelezea kwamba ya kwamba a revival uamsho is a move of god ni msogeo wa mungu in power katika nguvu that's the definition hiyo ndio tafsiri that brother Branham gave a revival ambayo ndugu Branham alitoa kwa uamsho a revival is a move of god in power uamsho ni msogeo wa mungu katika nguvu the dead have to be raised wafu wanapaswa kufuliwa have to be healed wagonjwa wanapaswa kuponi the have to walk viweto wanapaswa watembee lepers have to be cleansed wanye ukoma wanapaswa watakaswe blind eyes must see macho ya vipofu lazima yaone the ears must hear viziwi lazima wasikie the same signs ishara zile the same wonders and miracles maajabu yale yale na ujinga god did in the ministry of brother bana ambao mungu aliyafanya katika huduma ndugu bana must be in the bride again lazima yawe kwa bibi harusi tena jinsi ndugu alituelezea alipokuwa anatuelezea kuhusu uh, nguzo ya moto alotuelezea kwamba katika huduma wa ndugu Branham kuanzia 1933 mwaka wa 33 hadi mpaka mwaka wa 65 kulikuwa miogiza mingi na nguvu za Bwana zilionekana wafu walifufuliwa vipofu waliona viwete walitembea eh? visiwi walisikia magonjwa ya kila haina iliponywa lakini kuna kitu alisema mpaka nikasikia kama nitaka kuruka alipokuwa na nena kuhusu nguzo ya moto alisema sijui mliisikia 
alisema ya kwamba zile ishara na upomonyaji na nguvu za Bwana ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu kufufua wafu si ndugu Bwana kama mtu ndio aliyatenda lakini ilikuwa ile nguzo ya moto nani alisikia hayo nani alisikia hayo kweli mlikuwa mnasikiliza kweli mlikuwa na masikio kama mimi na mimi niliyasikia jambo hilo na Mungu alipomchukua nabii mwaka wa 65 namshukuru bwana mwaka wa 95 nilipata fursa kwenda kuona kaburi yake sikuabudu lakini nilipenda sana kuiona sikuenda kule ku, kwa kaburi ya ndugu Brana mkuabudu lakini nilipenda kuona huyu jamaa ambaye Mungu alimtumia sana alilala wapi ile mwili yake waliweka wapi lakini msikilize vizuri ndugu Brana alipo ile mwili yake ilipozikwa nguzo ya moto haikuzikwa hiyo nguzo ya moto nguzo ya moto haikuzikwa Ndugu Brana alipoaga dunia hiyo nguzo ya moto haikuaga dunia Ndugu Brana alipolala nguzo ya moto haikulala Ndugu Brana alipoenda hiyo nguzo ya moto hakuenda ilibaki Ndugu alituonyesha hiyo nguzo ilibaki Na kwa maana ilibaki na and it was the one that was doing the miracles na ndio iliyokuwa ikifanya miujiza miujiza iko wapi sasa ile nguvu zipo wapi a revival uamsho is a move of god in power ni msogeo wa mungu katika nguvu na brother bana anasema mkubali ni ni waonyeshe hapa kitu kidogo tu Siendi kuhubiri mimi simhubiri wameniita kuomba. Lakini <laughs> hii nusu ya maombi yangu sasa. Ninaomba, ninaomba. Msinivurute musini koti, ninaomba sasa. <laughs> sikia, sikia, sikia. Seven church ages page 157. Nyakati saba za kanisa ukurasa wa saba Anasema every fresh and true revival. Kila uamsho mpya na wa kweli will be utakuwa because men have gotten back to the word of their age kwa sababu watu wameingia katika neno la saa yao they have gotten back wamerudia they have gotten back wamerejea wamerudia to the word of their age kwenye neno la wakati wao ndugu hela saba ametuonyesha katika maombi yetu katika mahubiri yake yote ametuonyesha kwamba turejee kwa kwa ujumbe wetu wa sasa ametu muhimu sana ameturejesha kwa ujumbe wa sasa ambayo ilihubiriwa na ndugu Branham tukitaka ufufuo tukitaka kuona nguvu za Bwana na kwa hivyo ndugu huyu masawe ameleta nuku nyingine ambayo imenishangaza ime, ime sana Hey. Amesema tukwa Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa historia. Tafadhali twende tufanye agriculture. Kilimo. Kwa maana hapo tutafaidika sana. Tuwache mahubiri twende tusome agriculture. Kilimo. Kilimo. Waambie wa hawajui agriculture Kilimo. ni nini. Hii turudie kwa mambo ya kilimo ikiwa ni Mungu wa historia. Ndugu Brahman na Mansema tafadhali twende tufanye architecture ujenzi amesema tafadhali twende tufanye carpenter tuwe wa carpenter useremala carpenter useremala ama kazi nyingine tuache mambo ya kuhubiri ikiwa Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa historia Mungu ambaye alifanya kazi wakati wa ndugu Brana na siku hizi afanye tena lakini ndugu Bwana kubariki Nawaambiani wa ndugu hiyo kamera ilikuwa inakamata ina nasa nini? Hizi ujumbe. Muzirudie muzisikie. Yeah. Roho mtakatifu kupitia yeye alikuwa anatuita kurudi kwa ujumbe ilivyohubiriwa na nani? Jinsi ilivyohubiriwa na nabii wa wakati wetu. Alikuwa anatuonyesha uhimu 
the greatness, the importance, the significance uku, of the message of the hour. Uku umuhimu wa ujumbe wa saa. Nakwambia kuanzia mwezi mwezi wa 11 mwaka jana tariki mbili nilianza maombi ambayo sijaomba na kufunga kwa maana nataka ni muone Mungu wa ndugu Branham na kutoka hapo nimefanya ibada kama saba na nimeona nguvu ambazo sijawahi kuona kule nyuma Kwa maana ndugu Brana anasema hivi kuhusu maombi. Tukiwa tuchukue nono na tuchukue maombi, anasema hivi kuhusu maombi. Katika ujumbe Revelation chapter 4, ufunuo sura ya 4. Anasema and pray. Na, na and maombi. pray. Na maombi. And pray na, na omba. Pray ana, anarudia pray. Omba. The only way to reach higher ground. Njia pekee ya kufikia ardhi ya juu. Pray, omba. Pray, omba. The prayer of faith, maombi ya imani, will bring God's blessing down. Yatashusha baraka za Mungu chini. So if the prayer of faith, ivo kama maombi ya imani, brings God's blessing down, yanaleta baraka za Mungu chini. Let us continue to pray. Hebu tuendelee kuomba. Nikatazama katika ujumbe. Ndugu Branham apart from preaching alicha mbali na kuhubiri he prayed very much aliomba sana this is what i found out from the message hichi ndicho nilichogundua kutoka kwenye ujumbe number one. number moja every day kila siku he rose up at 3 am to pray aliamka saa tisa usiku kuomba when all devils were silent wakati mapepo yote alikuwa kimya and were no longer roaming na hawakuwa kizunguka zunguka number 2 number 2 every tuesday kila jumanne brother banam was in prayer and fasting ndugu branam alikuwa katika maombi na kufunga alone in prayer and fasting every tuesday peke yake akifunga na kuomba kila jumanne every friday kila ijuma two days a week siku mbili kwa wiki brother branham was in prayer and fasting ndugu branham alikuwa katika maombi na kufunga then the third thing ndipo jambo la tatu when therefore he was invited to preach popote alipo alikuwa kuhubiri he had to take three days before he goes alipaswa kuchukua siku tatu kabla hajaenda in prayer and fasting katika maombi na kufunga if we are ever going to see the power of god kama tungeenda kuona nguvu za mungu if we are ever going to see the miracles of god kama tutaenda kuona miujiza ya Mungu we need to do what the prophet did tunahitaji kufanya yale nabii amefanya yes we have the word ndio tunalo neno yes we have the word ndio tunalo neno yes we have the word ndio tunalo neno but let's go back to prayer lakini hebu turejee kwenye maombi so from last year hivyo kutokea mwaka jana no, no, november mwezi wa 11 second siku ya pili up to this day hadi siku ya leo i fast ninafunga i pray ninaomba and i'm continuing calling on god to help me nami naendelea kumuita Mungu anisaidie and the little time i've spent in prayer na masaa machache nimeyatumia katika maombi i've seen great miracles than before nimeona miujiza mingi kuliko mwanzo basi tusimameni tusimameni hiyo ilikuwa nusu ya maombi sasa sasa kila mtu inua mkono yako just raise up your hand inua mkono wako dear loving father baba mpendo wa mbinguni what can we say lord tunaweza sema nini bwana we are greatly blessed lord tumebarikiwa mno bwana by the minister of your son kwa huduma ya mwanao father mighty god hela hela tano mwenyenzi Thank you for using him Lord. Asante kwa kumtumia. And Lord God we pray that you continue using him. Na Bwana tunaomba kwamba utaendelea kumtumia. A humble a humble man. Mtu mnyenyekevu. Very simple. Mtu mraisi. Very lovely. Mtu mwenye upendo. With love for your bride. Akiwapenda bibi harusi wako. And love for God. Na akikupenda Mungu. Oh God we thank you for that simple ministry. Oh Mungu tunakushukuru kwa hiyo huduma ndogo. A man that he stands with the message of the hour. Mtu anayesimama na ujumbe wa saa. Oh Father, I thank you very much. Oh bwana tunakushukuru mno. Lord God you have blessed me. Bwana Mungu kwa kunibariki. You have blessed your children Lord. Umewabariki watoto wako bwana. Father mighty God I pray. Baba Mungu mwenyezi ninaomba. 
because we are remaining with a little time kwa sababu tumebakia na muda kidogo a little time to the second coming of jesus muda kidogo kufikia kuja kwa pili kwa kristo a little time to the rapture muda kidogo kufikia unyakuo father prepare us for the rapture baba tuandae kwa unyakuo to prepare us for the rapture father tuandae kwa unyakuo baba because your coming is at the door kwa sababu kuja kwako kumekaribia god anoint your servants that are here bwana wapake mafuta watumishi wako wale uko hapa anoint your servant brother and pastor helatano father pake mtumishi wako ndugu na mchungaji helatano baba anoint our precious brother kaswa long mpake ndugu wetu wa thamani ndugu kaswa bwana and my, our brother masawe and all the pastors lord na mpake ndugu masawe na wachungaji wote bwana anoint your daughters and your sons lord wapake mafuta binti zako na wana oh, wako god bring a revival in our midst oh, lord mungu leta uamsho miongoni mwa father mighty god bring a revival baba mungu mwenyezi leta uamsho we believe the message of the hour lord Naamini ujumbe wa saba baba Father sent a revival Baba tuma wa mtu Father sent the Holy Spirit Baba tuma roho mtakatifu Father vindicate your word Baba thibitisha neno lako Father stretch forth your hand Baba nyosha mkono wako And heal all manners of sicknesses and diseases Na uponye magonjwa yote na maradhi Lord God grant that great signs and wonders Ili kujalia kwamba ishara kubwa na maajabu May be done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Yatafanyika katika jina la Yesu Kristo Give your children your traveling mercies Lord patia watoto wako neema za usafiri bwana thank you for bringing us safely lord asante kwa kutuleta salama bwana and as you are children are going back lord na wajibu watoto wako wanaporejea tena father let your grace be upon them bwana hebu baraka zako ziwe juu yao lord god wherever they go bwana mungu popote wanapoenda let the revival continue lord achilia uamsho uendelee let the manifestation of your power continue achilia madhirisho ya nguvu zako father we bless you and we thank you lord baba tunakubariki na kukushukuru give us where we have found Lord did Lord kwa kutupatia and Lord God make us more sincere na baba utufanye wanyofu zaidi Father we thank you and bless you Baba tunakushukuru na kukubariki in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Katika jina lenye uweza la Bwana Yesu Kristo Amen and amen Amina amina Mungu awabariki sana Hebu tumpe Bwana utukufu. Amen. Basi napojaa kutoka naomba tuimbe. Ninafurahi kwa sababu jina langu limeitwa. Ninafurahi kwa sababu jina langu limeitwa. Subhani Bwana wabariki wa huduma ambapo tuko tumesimama kwa heshima hebu tutakaa kidogo na tangazo dogo hapo au naweza nikamwambia hata mkiwa amesimama mahubiri yote ya mchungaji la tano yaliyo naswa hapa kuanzia wiki ijayo yatasikika utaweza kuyapata katika channel inayoitwa waaminio Tanzania <tos> Mahubiri yote tutayapata kwenye channel inaitwa Waaminio Tanzania. Ukiingia hapo utaipata hiyo channel. Mahubiri yote kama ukusikia vizuri utayapata vizuri.